Okay, I'm uh, testing out this uh, new camera uh, so I can see how it works, uh, see how it loads properly up on YouTube. Uh, this is a uh, old uh, wooden storefront. I guess it's from the 1930s. Uh, it's old scale. This is made out of um, floral sticks and popsicle sticks. That's a nice little building. Oh, so he goes out of focus. Focus coming right back in. That's what I wanted to see. See how this works. That's how slow it works. Right, this is the back end of it. Got a door and vent on it. Now you see I got the cardboard inside. I haven't put the roof on there yet. This is a small test building. Of course I'm also going to be selling it on eBay. It's a nice small building. See how big it is. Uh, a little bit more than uh, four and a half on the side. Oh, see this, the uh, control stays stable on this time. I guess it got the adjustments. Well, you notice this is black and the brown and white. So I guess it holds up on pretty pretty good on its colors. Uh, front end of it is seven, seven inches. Look like it's on a fish eye look to it right now at the moment. That looks pretty good. I just wanted to test this camera out. Now see what a little bit dark on that end. Okay, uh, here's some uh, gingerbread uh, that you probably haven't seen. Uh, I got these from a dollhouse store. I mainly sold dollhouse and little, uh, I guess, a little trinkets and things you buy, uh, little statues. They mainly sold things for dollhouses and all the uh, other things to go with it, uh, lights. Um, this right here I could have been using for the storefront, but I'd rather save it for the brick. But since this is made all out of wood, uh, you see right here, these are the brick pattern, but it's made out of wood. Uh, you see the two gingerbread pieces up here. So you can flip this over, uh, have it facing upwards. You can actually put it on top of the roof. You look at some of, some of the earlier buildings. Uh, let's see if we can get a good look at that angle. You can see that. A little closer. See the detail on there. Okay, let's take a look at the Golden Gate Depot uh, Pullman 812 sleeper. It's made of uh, ABS plastic uh, from Golden Gate Depot. That's uh, the same people as the uh, Sunset Third Rail. I uh, got a hold of this two rail, uh, uh, this plain green, is no lettering. I didn't know if I wanted to make it a MKT or a wall bash or a CBQ, uh, which it had this 812 sleeper, but I had to look it up. Uh, only bad thing about this, they got people inside them. That's probably bad to paint. They painted some things so badly painted. I didn't know if I got a hold of the lighted version or not. So now we take it, open it up, and look at it. Now I'll turn the camera off for a second so I can take it out. Okay, you can see how it is. I've been boxed in there. Uh, that's the way it comes. It. The UPS delivered this thing. It was probably about a hundred degrees inside that box itself. Uh, the uh, it didn't melt or anything. I was, I was, I was pretty much surprised. Uh, that's pretty much the details. Underneath details, I'll show you that after I remove it from the box. But I wanted you to see what it looks like and where it comes. I'll turn the camera off once again. Okay, we can take a look at the underbody detail. As you can see, it's pretty light. Uh, it has the red, all the red thing, the generators, the water tanks, the battery boxes. You also see the uh, two steam uh, pipes. Uh, those are that right, those are here right there. And there's one here. And there's some of the brake cylinders. That's the generator right there. Uh, some of the other battery box, water tanks, and other things that goes with the 
a sleeper. Uh, it says made in China. Made of ASB, ASB, ASB plastic, as they say on the uh, drawings. Uh, looks pretty good for uh, less detail compared to a brass one. You can add more detail to it if you want to. Um, I don't know what railroad. I'm thinking about uh, three different railroads I'm trying to put them together with. The um, uh, CB&Q or Wabash or MKT all have them. Uh, up to the end of the end of the passenger area. I'm also looking at see if I'm able to modify this to uh, modernize to streamline. See if I can do that with it. That's the other reason why I bought it, so I can see if I can do any modifications to it. So I'm gonna turn the camera off once again to see the end details. Okay, let's start with the uh, what does it have in it? Uh, it doesn't have couplers. Uh, the uh, rear door opens. Let's see if I can open it. See, it's strong. Uh, it comes with this here. I don't know what this is for. They, they also didn't come with the uh, instructions uh, to tell what this is used for. But I believe this is for the couplers. Uh, this is for the two rail and three rail couplers. That's what I'm thinking this is for, what this is for. Uh, that's what you see all the details on there. I even got the fans on the other side. But I'll check if the, uh, what railroad actually operated this on. I'd like to model the Midwestern railroads like the CBNQ to the uh, MKT. And uh, also the Kansas City Southern. kind of a neat little car. I hope I hope I'll be able to modify it. It might be interesting to see if I could streamline one of these. That's the reason I, I never wanted to tear into a brass one, but working with these plastic ones, if it just posts a pretty good deep, uh, uh, prototype, I'll be able to modify it to a streamlined version. 